This episode is sponsored by Manscaped, the number one in the male grooming, specifically below the belt region, keeping your balls nice and smooth. No nicks, totally waterproof, and even a torch to get to those hard-to-shave areas. Also, check out their other products, including nose and ear hair trimmers, aftershaves, and much more. For bastard. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Fucking bad. Just started ringing me the... Mate, cross him off. Fucking hell. Fuck's sake. He started ringing me and put me off. I nearly had that. This episode is sponsored by Manscaped, number one in the male grooming, specifically below the belt region, keeping your balls nice and smooth. No nicks, totally waterproof, and even a torch to get to those hard-to-shave areas. Also, check out their other products, including nose and ear hair trimmers, aftershave, and much more. For 20% off, use code KICKINIT. Um, right, let's get down to it. We've had some massive wins for the UK guys recently. Um... <coughs> We'll start off with the, the big one. Uh, Liam Nolan versus Youssef for the WBC world title. 72.5 kilos. This was one of the biggest wins, in my opinion, that any British fighter has ever done. I think this has been up there with an Anahuac win and Greg Wotton beating Pep Boonchu and stuff like that. This was huge. Uh, Youssef has been the king at that weight for years. I can't remember the last time he lost a fight. That, one, that was Muay Thai. I, mean, I know he lost K1. Mm. But Muay Thai, I can't remember the last time he lost a fight. He's destroyed everyone in that weight class. All the ties. He's multiple time... Rajnam Nern, Omnoy, Lumpini. He's won all the best stadium titles, hasn't he? Um, this was... Well, did you see this as an upset, Andy? Because I don't think a lot of people saw Liam winning. Yeah, 100%. Um, everyone will have had Yusuf to win that fight. And do you know what? It wasn't even close, in my opinion. It all. He schooled him. Yeah. He made it look easy and he hurt him a few times. He did. He hurt then him in the first knees. round, mate. In the first round of a fucking yeah. hell, he hurt him then. He wasn't scared of him. He showed him no respect whatsoever. He just walked on him and he fought a really clever fight, to be fair. Every time Yusef stepped in, he caught him with beautiful knees. He hurt him in round four, I think it were as well, with that knee. And yeah, it were a great performance. And a bit, to be honest, mate, referee were a bit of a dickhead. <laughs> you know he were doing some scandalous he things. Was in that fight... In my opinion, not only was he fighting Youssef, he was fighting the referee. Yeah. And we know he were going to be fighting the judges as well because yeah. one of them gave it a fucking split decision yeah, and I exactly. didn't think Liam lost the round. But Youssef sure won it. Was it his co-promotion? I'm not or... sure. No, no I don't want it. Was it was Holland when it's not PSA. That referee yeah. were a joke. Though, referee like, were a The referee was an absolute disgrace. Like I said, you, you know when you go to fight abroad and you're fighting against the champion, you know you're going to be fucking up against it anyway. But to have to fight with a referee, the judges, yeah. and all that going on, it's, do you know what? It's, a, it's mentally, it's a tough ask when you go abroad to do that. And know what I liked about Liam, he doesn't shout his mouth off, he keeps his mouth shut, he's got about his business. He yeah. didn't mourn in the fight, he, when the, even when the referee were totally against him, he just, he just got on with it, he stuck to his plan. And um, yeah, like I said, like when you go away abroad to do that type of shit, it's fucking mentally drained you and it's, it's tough to, to get hold of that. But what he did was, I thought it was fucking brilliant. And like it's I said, class, before mate. the fight, he got about his business, to so not like fucking trash talk or shouting his mouth off, he just had the well, game plan, he went in there. Yeah, I was going to say, if you remember, the, the last fight, he couldn't go to do it, and Youssef were gobbing off, weren't yeah, they? Saying, well, oh, yeah. you've bottled it, you've pulled out, rah, yeah. rah, rah. He didn't rise to it. He just went, don't worry about it, we'll do it again, and fucked him up to me. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I said, I don't think he lost a round. Nah, I not, thought nah, the game chance. plan him and uh, Christian put in place for that, I thought it were perfect. Bang on, yeah. Um, even when Youssef started marching forward, looking to punch knee and elbow, which is what he does. If you stay in one spot... He'll just walk at you, he'll knee your elbow. But Liam had that, because he's southpaw, he's that little... Struggled sweet. with the southpaw, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, that little there. step off, he was landing his nice kicks. I'll tell you what, I, I knee shit well. myself yeah, yeah. when he got caught, when he got cut. Oh, yeah, you know they were going to fucking try and stop that. here we go, going to try and stop this here in last round. With a minute to go, I thought, here we go, going to try and stop it. They had him over at doctor for about five minutes, didn't they, for what they're doing. Even when to stitch him up. Even when decision were given, we were all messaging each other, weren't we going, oh, he's won this, he's won this, but... Let's wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. And then it came down, one judge. Uh, the first judge gives it to Nolan. Second yeah. judge gives it to you. So, well, here we fucking go yeah, again. They've yeah, done yeah. it to another British fighter. They fucking ripped his dream Stitched away from him. Again. But now, nah, um, justice prevailed. And I thought, what did you think of this, Craven? Obviously, you thought you said before. What did you think of the performance? Yeah, it's a huge win because, like you said, that's the sort of games they play when we were there, when we were fighting him. First, it you were, didn't even see him way in, did you? Nah, see him nah. way in. He'd waited Maybe. about two hours before we got there. <laughs> Promoter, we were still on we plane. We sat there. Promoters come collect all fighters for weighing, and it's like, oh, no, you've got your own car. You're your main event. You've got your own car. And we're like, all right. But two hours goes by. My mum texts me. She went, how come you're not weighed in? I'm watching it on live on Facebook, and I'm like, really? <laughs> I've just watched it. 
And he's just like, it's jumped on the scale, jumped off, and then they've called out a weight, and I'm thinking, what is going on here? Yeah, we don't even know what weight they called out. Yeah. <laughs> did we have to walk to weighing? No, no, we got... Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we walked to weighing. <laughs> we had to walk to weighing. We got all... Got, give us a map, and we had to find our own way to weighing. About a 20-minute oh, walk. Right, piss-taking piss yeah. bastards. A physical map. Yeah. Well, that's Mate, the honestly, we had to walk just to went here. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing about fighting abroad. See, like people always like you like people who like oh, look at him, he's going abroad to fight again, he's all over the place. It's not fucking glamorous. No. Nah. You know, whenever you go to fight abroad, you are up against it. Remember that time when I fought in Italy and they said they, they, my opponent that I broke the, the scale. scales. So I got on the scales, I weighed in, it were a world title fight, I weighed in, bang on weight, I'd fucking flown there in a sweatsuit as well. So I, I oh, got no, there no, because no. I had no time to lose weight when I got there, flew there in a sweatsuit, got on the scales, bang on weight. I went away because they said, oh, my opponent were late. And then I turned up and all TV were there, all Italian news and everything. And scales had changed. I went, where's other scales? I went, oh, you broke them. <laughs> I said, eh, I weigh nine and a half stone, you silly bastard. I said, how the fuck have I broke them? <laughs> to get the other scales back here, but nah, you broke them, mate. Me and Andy had been away. They went, oh, you go eat now. So I'd, I'd, oh, so you'd I'd had drank a, liters you'd had and liters of water. liters of water and all sorts. I'd eaten you? all sorts. I'd, 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 I'd have probably put on six, seven kilos. So I got back on the scales I put on 1.8 kilos after fucking drinking. I've had about four litres of water, plus two <laughs> meals. And I, I'd eaten everything. And, and then he got on scales, and he was still over the fight weight. I'm I still over, one not I went, he's two kilo over. I said, he's a fucking world title. I went, oh, he can't lose no weight. It'll look bad for Italian TV. I said, I don't give a fuck. What? I said, get him lose the weight That's what they said to us, isn't it? We can't yeah, get yeah, exclusive yeah. back on scales. Can't put him back on because of TV. Yeah, because yeah, of TV. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what? They that, won't even let us in venue. Do you remember that? Venue. You had to walk around. Had to walk to get, around. Get, it took us an hour to get, get in. in venue. Well, that's the thing. It's too fucking. We're too fair over here on everyone. Mm. Yeah. We go anywhere we else on the planet. We either yeah, yeah, get yeah. robbed, treat like shit. Every, every everyone in England is so fair. When, you know what? Sometimes it even favours, like especially when the ties come over. Yeah, our way of scoring and that. Our over scoring here, suits it favours them. You know what I mean? Any other country you go to, it'll be, it'll be like more fucking WBC style. WBC score every style, round. Yeah. We're so fair to everyone over here. That's a load of shit. Yeah, but um. Obviously, you're back in the ring in January, Craven. Yeah, boy. Um, you're obviously. What is your goal from here? Three or four big wins, maybe push for that title. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now it's in. Now it's in UK again as well. Yeah. Should really be easy to make that fight. So, few few wins, get my momentum going again, and then Nolan. Yeah. Let's have it. That'd be nice. Um, where do we see Liam going from here? I think one championship because they've ignored him a little bit. They're going to come sniffing back. Oh, yeah, I think now. Yeah, they now ignored him a that. little bit. Do you know what I saw the other day? They're not sure they shared a video with him for ages. He won the fight. Straight sharing. away. Yeah, <laughs> straight away. But, um, What's going to be the score, though? Because obviously. How's he going to make weight? That's, that's what, what I'm thinking. Because yeah. obviously he's moved up weight. This is at 72. Ah, he's moved his up fight now, before he? this yeah. was at 76, 76, and he still looked big then. Yeah, he was big. What's he going to do? Is he going to have to fight in the 77 this is division? Massive. Against the likes of Holskin and. Reggie Nerdskill yeah, and all yeah, them guys. He might, might have to, because there's no middle ground, is there? there? Nah. He's, he's not going to mm. do 70 hydrated, so nah. he's going to have to move up to 76. Yeah, because he's still, it's still big for 70. He looked fine at 76, because when he came and trained with us and stood next he to me. He was 80 kilo, then ripped. Fucking hell, mm. he was massive up yeah. to me, I thought. He was 80 kilo, then ripped. So I think the only thing is, he's like, it's like fighting them fucking guys like the false wants to stick to Muay Thai in them little gloves. That, that's just going to be a nightmare for anyone, really. <laughs> because when you're in them little gloves... No one needs that. If you want to fight in like someone that style in big gloves, you know what? He's smart enough to kick, move. Yeah, yeah. You can fucking, nullify you it You can't a bit. move from anything in them little gloves. There's too yeah, many gaps cause... everywhere, especially when you've got like people... Halskin is like more like a pro boxer who's been taught a few kicks. Yeah, he can't. You know what I mean? He, he, he went, pro, well, that's it. He went, he went 12 rounds Callum Smith. He went, he went, mm. I'm going to say, he jumped in last minute, didn't he, on that uh, in a tournament? Week's notice, on a week's notice and Callum went Smith. distance with Callum, yeah. So, like, this, and we, we've seen Callum bangs as well. <laughs> yeah, he's done half. And he's big. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so obviously there's a lot of... It depends, like, will he start, like, fighting more European, defending WBC, do one, one championship, going to get him back in there. I'm interested to see... Where he go? Look, he's jacked, man. He's fucking big yeah. for you. I've he's asked, massive. Um, I spoke to Nosa the other day. I'm trying to get him on my August show against uh, Jay Tonkin for WMO. No, 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 he's got no, number. He's gone up to having number five. Yeah, in Jay WMO just won. Jay now. just won in. Uh, and Jay just won WBC Jay's international. Been in the yeah. Top boys as well, aren't he? He's a good fighter. Yeah. He's, he's mad. He's good, fighter. Jay. So he'll be a good he's, fight. He's then. extremely he's mad. Well. Yeah, he's very mental. fucking mad. Fucking insane. Good fight with him after. Yeah, him and his dad, they're both fucking rad. The good lads, though. I like them fucking Aussie boys. It'll be a good fight that. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully we can agree that for August. It'll be sick, that. Yeah, it'll be nice. What weight was his WBC fight? 72, 72 and a half. 160, middleweight. What, 72? 72. Yeah, Is that where we're fighting at? Uh, 
one. No, it's like 70, we're hydrated. Mm. But then all of a sudden it disappeared. Like in everyone over this lockdown have been doing more S&C because like they've all just got jacked up. Like I watched like his stories in lockdown. Like we went to Thailand, then when he came home and it was S&C going on yeah, all the time, yeah. all the time, S&C. Because obviously the gyms weren't as busy. So fighters were just doing more strength and then fucking he's lucky how solid he's gone now. Yeah. Obviously he's only young anyway. Mm. How old is he, 22? No, I think he's a bit older than me. Is he? 20, 23, 24. 24 well, yeah. when I was 23, 24, I was fine at 61 still. And then all of a sudden I jumped up and I couldn't make 66. And I was, hold, like, I was knocking yeah. people out at 66. Um, so like, when you get to that age anyway, he's fucking, he's filling out S&C. Um, but yeah, he looks jacked at 72 now. Like, he, he, he looked a bit like slim, didn't he, at 70 when he's went in. a serious I, fight camp for this as well. I get a look at yeah, 18 month fight camp. Fucking hell. Uh, uh, Haggett looked the same though, didn't he? Like when they were in lockdown, Haggett looked massive as yeah, well. And we yeah. were saying when he came back on one, we were like, he's not making 61. Yeah, did it, yeah. Did he did it. Yeah, did it, yeah. Did it. Because he had to lock himself in his room, mm. didn't he? Come out loud out room, he was skipping all day, <laughs> wasn't he? Some, uh, yeah, like but, the, um, the buff did the same thing, didn't they? The ballooned out, looked in great shape, both got a bit hench. Yeah, um, it'd be interesting to see where we go from here with, with Liam, obviously. Um, I don't know what's the, the script. If I reckon you said, can, is he is he allowed to push push for a rematch? Seen I don't as he know. was champion for so I think long, he'll retire again, me. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, he might do. Seen as he it? was a champion, he's about my age. Oh, is it? Yeah, he's been around a long time. Two hundred fights, ninety. Because well, he retired for a like bit and then came out of retirement, didn't he? Um, yeah, yeah, he retired for a bit and then he's came not out. living in Thailand no more. He's living in Belgium and is, is he got like an, his own gym over here or what? I don't know, but he's n you can clearly see he's not. Yeah, he the killer he once was. Nah, he he's got, got he's, family. Everything he did, he just got nullified in this fight, and he just like, look, I don't think he'd like he. Don't he, knew too, but, yeah, he knew it lost. He knew it lost. He knew yeah. it lost. But when you've done everything that like Yusef has, Omnoy champion, Umpini champion, Rajad Amnern champion, WBC champion, WBC diamond champion, and he's won the but WBC he's had three times as many knockouts as I, as I, as yeah, yeah, as I have had. Yeah, five. yeah. How many times has he won Would, WBC or just, defended it? About think, seven you know times. What? I've had me. I've had my time. It's these guys' time now, so he might he, he might just retire and somebody, ride off into the sunset. He's had a fucking incredible career. Um, yeah. 